What's up, Trade Hackers? Welcome to today's update. Today's Thursday, February 6th. It has been a couple of days since I did an update. I've been traveling and a little under the weather. So I am back and let's talk markets. So what's going on today? I mean, the S&P 500 hitting new all-time highs at 3348, let's call it. You know, last Friday, we had this huge down day. S&Ps were down over 60 points. And I really thought, you know, all the media was talking about the coronavirus, and that's what the drop was due to. I, you know, I really thought we might get a little bounce or consolidation and then potentially roll over. But that is definitely not what happened here. I mean, Monday, we got a gap higher. Tuesday, gap higher. Wednesday, gap higher. Thursday, gap higher. And it looks like it's back to all-time. Well, it is back to all-time highs, and it looks like it's back on the rally train. So, Interesting stuff here. I mean, this market just continues to be unbelievably resilient. If we look at a couple of the other markets, specifically a couple of the energies, if you look at oil, I mean, up here, you know, we had this huge spike up overnight during the Iran missile issue, and then it just dropped big time and it's continued just to slide. Got a little bit of a bounce in oil yesterday, but just continued downside action in oil. Nat gas, another energy that's just been on this major downhill slide. So interesting stuff. If we take a look at so what some of these stocks have been doing, you know, we've had some earnings come out and specifically, or first I want to talk about Tesla. I haven't done an update since we've had this massive run in Tesla. And let's go to a one year daily chart. I mean, if we look at right around here, so let's just zoom in here, Right around this point when we were trading at about $400, you know, I really thought, okay, Tesla looks like it's it's going to take off. And I even mentioned in one of the videos, I said, I think this will be trading at $600 in not the too distant future. Now, I didn't know it would take just a few weeks to get to 600 and I didn't know that it would blast through 900 in just a few days. But wow, what a, what a ride on Tesla. Uh, you know, topped out at 969 basically, and then had a huge drop yesterday, and then just kind of bouncing around today. So Tesla has been quite the wild ride. Twitter announced earnings after the market closed yesterday, and up big, up 15% today. Some of the other things that we've been looking at, you know, Beyond Meat had been moving around quite a bit. If we look at uh, BYND, it's kind of settled down into a little bit of a range here, and it's got earnings coming up here in the next uh, month or so. So those are some of the major movers. Boeing, another one, kind of back on the rally train. You know, after earnings announcement, is pretty muted, but the last couple of days has just really shot up. You know, one of the big, big drags on the performance of Boeing has been, obviously, their, their max. You know, they were having some... Mechanical issues had to ground some of those flights, and then they ended up firing their CEO because he kept over promising when they were going to come back. Well, the new CEO seems to have got things together, being a little bit more conservative on the outlook of when that's going to happen, and things look like they're starting to come back around for Boeing. So, where does this leave us? I mean, what are we looking at here? Well, in the overall market, going back to the S and P. I don't think we're just going to roll over and die at this point. I mean, the, things are just too strong, too resilient. So, we, you know, we've obviously got the election coming up here in 2020. And I think the, that will create some definitely some significant volatility. And I certainly don't see the market just continuing to rally with no two-sided action like we saw most of the part of the end of 2019. So I definitely think we're going to have some volatility, some two-sided action, and not just a one-directional up move. But at the same time, you know, I don't think anytime soon are we going to see a huge, huge downturn. So just my take. Hopefully that is helpful. And we'll talk to you guys next time.